What's up, y'all? It's your boy D Weeks 2000. We live here right on A Street. I got the team right here, man. We about to ask some people some financial questions and see if what they really know. What's up, y'all? It's your boy D Weeks 2000 with Black Affluence, and we here on the streets of A Street, right here with two, two of the homies we just met from Tennessee State. Shout out Tennessee State. We are about to play the financial literacy game show. We got shirts and we got tickets on the line. So if they get three out of five right, then they're going to cop the prizes. Y'all ready? We ready. All right. So introduce yourselves real quick. I'm Tanera. And I'm Adrian, also with the Tennessee State. Uh, <laughs> suppose you put a thousand dollars in an account that earns five percent interest per year every year. You never invest additional money, and you never withdraw money or interest payments. So in the first year, you earn fifty dollars in interest. In year four, how much will this account earn? Is it a one less than fifty dollars? Is it B? I'm sorry. Oh, B. $50, C, more than $50, or four, or D, don't know. More than $50. More than $50? So they said option A, the correct answer is, they can't peek, y'all, they can't cheat. More than $50 was C. Do you say A, or B, or C? Whichever one is more than $50. More than $50? That was C, So less than $50, A, B was $50, C was more than $50. C. <laughs> is correct. All right, number three. Number three. Consider the following scenario. Jack and Jill are twins. At the age of 20, Jack started contributing $20 a month to a savings account. After 20 years, at the age of 40, he stopped adding to his savings. But he left the money in the account. Jill didn't start to save until she was 40. Then she saved $20 a month until she ret retired 20 years later at age 60. Suppose both Jack and Jill earn 6% interest per year on their savings. When they both retire at age 60, who had more money? Is it A, Jack? Is it B, Jill? Is it C, they had the same amount? Or is it D, don't know? C, they had the same amount? Facts? C. <laughs> The answer is A. That was Jack. Okay. It's in the question. So. Oh, because he got the same amount of interest every year. So he started oh. sooner. So he had oh. Okay. Shout out to Tennessee State. Okay. You <laughs> that for the first question. Right. Right. All right, all right. All right. In general, investments that are riskier tend to provide higher returns over time than investments with less risk. A, true. B, false. C, don't know. A, true. A true is correct. That is right, two out of five. We have three more questions. Um, let's see. When you invest in an employer's retirement savings plan, such as a 401k, your contributions are taxed. A, either before you invest them or when you withdraw them during retirement, but not both times. B, both before you invest them and when you withdraw them during retirement, C, once a year on or before April 15th, or D, when you reach age 65? A. A? I don't know. A is correct. That is two out of five. Or three. Got, we oh, got they got three. three. Got three. Oh, that's that third question, y'all. Yeah. Tennessee State really show <laughs> out today. Y'all heard it here first. They'll be collecting their prize this Saturday, May 25th, 7 p.m., Nanny Helen Burroughs. I'll be there to host for the most D-Weeks 2000. We have our winners for the day. Y'all clap it up. And that, there you have it. We live on A Street, Black Affluence, D-Weeks 2000. You got it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy D Weeks 2000 with Black Affluence. We're here right now on A Street. We got a new contestant playing the financial literacy game because we about to get lit. It's a free T-shirt and some tickets on the line. We're gonna see if she gets three out of five questions right, and if she does, she'll be at the show to pick up her shirt. Now, let's go. Tell them a little bit about yourself. Hey, y'all. I'm Dijanae. I am a graduate from the illustrious Bowie State University. BSU. <laughs> Actually, we're there too. So. Okay. Um, I now go to UMD in the hearing and speech programs. 
Oh, shucks. Well, thanks for playing. Shout out to Bowie and shout out to UMD. So, let's circle. Let's go. First question. Which of the following is a true statement? A, you will lose money that you personally invested in your 401k if you switch jobs. B, you will be charged income tax as well as tax on dividends and increases in the value of your stock if you invest in your 401k. C, unless you are undergoing significant hardship, you cannot withdraw money from a 401k without penalty until you reach a certain age, or D, all of the above. undergoing significant hardship, you cannot withdraw that. money from a 401k without penalty until you reach a certain age. It's okay. You still got four that. more to get right. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Okay, David's new job offers a 401k. Okay. His employer provides a 50% match up to two grand. Okay. How much should David invest at least in okay. order to obtain the maximum amount of money from the employer match? A, zero, B, 500, C, 1,000, D, 2,000, E, 4,000. Now you get me with mad questions. Yeah. I'm not good at that. Oh, no. We want you to be a winner. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guess, guess. Take your best guess. 50, zero, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. I'm going to say a thousand. A thousand? I like how she said, you know, that's that Baltimore swing. <laughs> All right. It is actually $4,000. Wow. That was $4,000. So now she has losing. one more chance. If she, <laughs> if she gets it right, y'all, she stays in the game. If she gets right, it wrong, eh, eh. And, and we got to put on for booty steak. Give me, give me one, baby. Give me one. All right. Here we go. Here we go. You have decided to set aside 15% of your salary for retirement. Oh, you work at a firm where your employer matches your contribution to the 401k plan, right? Okay. Dollar by dollar, up to 5% of your salary. Which of these statements is correct? A, if you contribute up to 5% of your salary, the employer match is equivalent to a 100% return on your contribution. B, what the employer contributes should not play any role in your decision making. C, it is always a good idea to contribute less than what the employer contributes. Or D, I don't know and I take a loss. What you think? Definitely not D. Good, good, not good. We ain't taking losses out here. That's right, Bowie State, baby. I'm going to take off again. Let's see for Let's go with it. A is, the answer is A. She got it right, y'all. Fans in the game. Y'all heard it here first, let's go. All right, she got two more questions to get right. In general, investments that are risky tend to provide higher returns over time than investments with less risk. Is it A, true, B, false? It's a 50-50. But I can't get no more questions wrong, you know what? I'm gonna say, the answer is, True, she got it right. She I'm stays a, in the game, y'all. I'm, I'm the go. I'm the go. The last I'm question, yo. The last question. If she gets it right, she going home with a VIP ticket, plus shirts, black influence. You know what it is. I'm the go for it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh my god. We need lifelines on the line. It, it started off rough. It started off it. rough. She back. It. All right. Let's see. Suppose you are a member of a stock investment club. Okay. This year, the club has about 200000 to invest in stocks, and the members prefer not to take a lot of risks. Here we go with some more math. Here we go. <laughs> Which of the following strategies would you recommend to your fellow members? A, put all the money in one stock. No math. B, put all the money in two stocks. C, put all the money in a stock index fund that tracks the behavior of 500 large firms in the U.S. A, B, or C. C, I like that. And the answer is 
She's going home with the VIP ticket, y'all. Like, she like finessed it out. The See, first two like was that. wrong. She had, yo, Bowie State is on the map all the time. You heard it here first. Dejan, they gave it to you. One, two, three. <laughs> and it's over. Y'all stay tuned. D-Week 2000 with Black Influence. We out.